Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use two plugins to easily generate user profile pictures and names. So first thing I'm going to do is let's add a circle for the user's profile picture. So we'll just do that and let's do the repeat grid and just drag it down. There we go. So I'm going to ungroup the grid. A lot of plugins prefer that you have ungrouped a grid before uh, using them. So now what I want to do is I want to add a name field. So I'm just going to go right here and I'm just going to type name. And then I'm going to copy it and paste it down here about centered. Here we go. So then I want to capture these two and try the repeat grid and see if it'll put them at the same. Not quite. It's not quite working how I wanted it to, but that's fine. So let's ungroup it. So I'm going to ungroup this one here as well. So you can just hit Control Shift G and it will ungroup them. So it did make it a little frustrating to work with, but that's fine. So what we can do is we can use these align here and just align all of these into, <laughs> here we go. Sometimes what we think will make things easier does not in fact make them easier. <laughs> there we go. And this, and then we can tidy these up in a little bit. I'll just bring them down a little bit. Okay. So the first thing is let's fill up these, uh, these circles with user photos. Okay. So now we probably don't want to use real photos for this, but we also want to be kind of cautious of what types of photos we use. And so luckily there's a right now, at least free plugin for Adobe XD called this person does not exist. So if you go to, uh, I think it's this person does not exist.com. You can view all sorts of AI generated profile pictures of people. And what's lovely is that they have made this available for Adobe XD for this exact purpose. So if we go down to our plugins, it's down here at the bottom, this Lego looking thing, we can pop that open. Uh, I already have it installed, but if you do not, you can click on plus here and you can search for this person does not exist or take a look at some of the essential plugins. Take a look at all the plugins um, periodically because they're adding more and more and more and they can make your life so much easier. So I'm just going to close this out, but this is where you would add them. It's super, super easy um, to add new plugins. So. I already have it added. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight these circles because this is where I want the photos to go. So all I have to do is click on this and it's going to start populating all of them with these random photos of people. It's pretty cool. Okay, so it filled all of these fields with avatars. Um, I'm going to change this one. It's got a child. I don't really want a child in there. So I'm just going to click this again. And you can do that as many times as you want. If, if um, you know, sometimes the photos are really out of whack um, because they are AI generated, taking existing photos of people. So you could have somebody's glasses partially smeared on someone's face. So if any of them look weird, you can easily change them like that. So now what we can do is we can auto generate names. So I have another plugin called content generator right here. And this lets you choose male, female, or both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the women here. So I'm going to click on them on their name and I'm going to hold down control or I'm assuming it's, Oh, let's see. Let's try shift. Okay. I'm going to hold down shift and I'm going to select the women here. Okay, so now I'm going to click on content generator. Same thing to add it, go into your plugins, search for content generator and it will show up. So I'm going to click on female and it puts in women's names. Now I'm going to click on the men and do the same thing. So I'm going to click on content generator, but this time I'm going to click on male. So now I've got, I've got avatar photos here. I've got names. So it, 
this just goes to show you how easy it is to use plugins to generate content. Um, takes takes some work out of uh, you know, takes some hassle out of designing new stuff. And I I just think plugins are amazing, and I think they're underutilized. So check out plugins regularly. See what's new. See what's been added. See what other people use and recommend, and find what can help you design more efficiently. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out my website at simplesoftwaretutorials.com and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.